Hello, Mary. I realized that last time I never talked about the parts of the banjo, and it actually is really helpful to know the names of the parts of the banjo, so that when we're talking about how to play it, I can tell you, hey, you need to put your right hand over the bridge and things like that. So I'm going to tell you what all the parts are so that you can know that for the future. Okay, this is called the banjo. I think you knew that already. Uh, the banjo over on this end, this thing is called the head of the banjo. This is very similar to the ukulele, if you heard that video. Uh, this is the head. These are the tuning pegs back here and up here. They stick through the head and the strings wrap around them to tune the banjo like we talked about last time. So you turn these and they make the strings tighter or looser, tighter or looser. And when the strings are tighter, the note that the string is playing goes up as it gets tightened. And as you loosen the tuning pegs, the string gets looser and the note goes down. So um, you use that to tune the banjo, head, tuning pegs. This uh, piece of plastic here, um, or something like it, is called the nut. It is the very last fret. These other metal pieces on the neck are called the frets. I think we talked about this. Okay, so the metal pieces are the frets, and the frets are important because they change the notes as you're playing with your left hand. Nut, fret. This whole long piece here is called the neck of the banjo. You can imagine it as like a body with a giant neck. Um, so that's that whole thing there is the neck. These metal things are the frets. This black thing is the nut. This here, wait a minute, it's another tuning peg. The banjo is totally weird, the five string banjo, because it has a tuning peg in the middle of the neck. Nothing else has that. Guitars don't have that, ukuleles don't have that, but the banjo is special. The five string banjo. It's got a tuning peg right there, <clears throat> and that tunes string number five, which shows up here in the middle of the neck. Um, on the neck, you see these dots? On mine, they're black dots. On yours, I believe you have a, uh, a black or brown colored neck, and so they're white dots. They're called position markers, and there is one at fret number three, and one at fret number five, fret number seven, fret number 10, and fret number 12. 12 is pretty important, five and three are very important. These are the ones you don't need to worry about for quite some time. Position markers, frets, the metal things, the neck, the fifth string tuning peg. This is, yeah, string number five. And then moving along to the other end of the banjo, we have the body of the banjo, this whole piece with all the stuff on it, it's called the body. Okay, obviously we have the strings. We have the bridge. We talked about the bridge last time because you need to have the bridge in just the right spot or the banjo will not play in tune and it will sound like a not very nice banjo. And then the strings in the other end, they go into the tail piece, this metal piece. Might look a little bit different on your banjo, but it is always, it's the same kind of thing. It, attaches to the back of the body and the strings come out from it over the bridge over the neck into the tuning pegs um, through the nut okay um, this piece here this metal piece that wraps around that's called the rim of the banjo and these are called the brackets they hold the rim down um, this piece of plastic or whatever it is. It's called the drum. I think it's called the drum. I might be wrong about that. Pretty sure it's the drum. And <clears throat> on your banjo, my banjo doesn't have anything back here. It's empty. But your banjo has another piece of wood that goes around the back. And sometimes they have them that are wood and sometimes they have them that are metal. That's called the resonator. So you have a resonator banjo and I have just a five string banjo with no resonator. So those are the parts of the banjo. Helpful to know, and you should memorize them.